Since 2013, it has been illegal for drivers between 16 and 18 to use their phones while driving. It's part of Kelsey's law, a bill aimed at stopping distracted driving for teenagers. Even with the law, though, teens are still the most vulnerable age group for distracted driving crashes. Kim DiGiulio live this morning to explain how a law firm and a foundation are hoping to get kids to put those phones down. Kim? Yes, good morning, guys. So it's Michigan Auto Law and the Kiefer Foundation, and they're both fighting for the same thing, and it's to end distracted driving. The Kiefer Foundation was founded back in 2016 when Steve Kiefer lost his son, Mitchell Kiefer, uh, to a distracted driver. He was hit on I-96, and uh, he, he was pushed onto oncoming traffic, and that is how uh, Mitchell unfortunately died. So now these two are teaming up to offer a scholarship to teenagers. This is for juniors and seniors. They're asking them to use social media to talk to each other, tell them that distracted driving is dangerous. And they, it can be anything from a tweet, a YouTube video, even a graphic. But this scholarship, it used to be $5,000 in the past, but now because of this collaboration, it is worth $10,000. So there's even more incentive there. And what better way than to use social media to get teenagers to talk to each other? Yesterday, I spoke with the founder of the Kiefer Foundation, Steve Kiefer, about why this partnership is so important and how doing things like this, educating teens, helps him with the process of mourning the death of his son. I think for us, it's um, it's the best way, at least that I know of, to deal with my my grief. I um, I, uh, I couldn't just sit uh, sit on the sidelines and and, and mourn and, and you know be uh, be upset about this. I uh, I knew immediately that we had to do something to uh, to uh, help have an impact, and uh, that means a lot to us because we know um, we know we're saving lives with our our mission. Um, Things like uh, cable guardrails that were installed on I-96 at the point of Mitchell's crash. Uh, we worked with MDOT the year following Mitchell's crash and put these cable guardrails, five miles of cable guardrails on I-96. We thought it was a bit of a symbolic gesture, but those were hit 12 times in the first year. And here are some facts for you. According to the Michigan traffic crash facts, more than 20% of the drivers involved in distracted driving crashes in Michigan were between the ages of 15 and 20. And according to National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 8% of distracted drivers involved in deadly crashes in the U.S. were uh, in, in the year 2021 we're teens alone. So that just tells you we really need to reach out to teens, but we're all guilty of it. We need to make sure that we put the phones down when we're driving. And by the way, guys, I was speaking to Steve Kiefer yesterday, and he told me that he's never going to stop fighting until distracted driving is is ended. And by the way, today would have been his son Mitchell's 26th birthday. So how real is that? Just a reminder uh, that this is these are real lives we're talking about here. The phone can wait. The text can wait. Put the phone down. Get to where you need to be before you open your phone and look at that text message. Guys, back to you.